Okay, boys and girls, we're gonna finish our science foldable on force and motion. And so we already talked about magnetism, we talked about gravity, and we talked about friction. We did the center, I think we did the center, didn't we, about force is a push or a pull, and it's measured in Newton. So we did that portion of our foldable, right boys and girls? So now we have two different sections that we're gonna work on right now. And so we have a section about push. And so when we're thinking about push, things are pushing against each other, right? Something or something pushing another thing. So look at our picture there and it says push. Now when we have three Newtons, that's what the three N stands for. And it is, okay, we have three Newtons. And it is pushing against four Newtons. And we need to figure out the movement of that, the force. How do we figure out the net force? Okay. We want to figure out the net force. We subtract. And so the net force of three newtons and four newtons, we subtract four minus three. So how many newtons would that be? Olivia? It'd be one newton. So that's what we're gonna write here, one newton. That is our answer, one newton. And so what we're going to do is because it's the three and the three newtons versus the four newtons is here, we're gonna color in our box right here. We're gonna shade in one box. And then we have some examples of push. Examples of push. And we have an example of push right there in the picture. And what is that a picture of? What is that? Ava? A bulldozer. A bulldozer. So let's write a bulldozer. You're doing it right now. You're writing with a what? Santiago? Pencil. Writing with a pencil is an example of push. Another example of a push, you do this with a broom, you sweep with a broom, that's an example of a push. Or we could do what with the door? You, yes? Well, you close the door, close the door, that's a push. If you have room, you can write close the door. When you close the door, that's an example of a push. Okay, so those are all examples of pushes. Everybody got that? Now we can go to our pole. Oh, that was already done. I did it in the other class. So now we have a pole. Now a pull is the opposite of a push, right boys and girls? So if we have our five Newtons, And our 
eight newtons. They're pulling against each other. The force of that movement is what? What is the net force of that? What do you think that is? Okay. What is it? No. Yes? Three newtons. Three newtons. So it would be net force is three newtons. Make sure I'm getting it just like it is on your page. Net force equals three newtons. And then our force is going this way because the force here is greater on this side because the wagon's being pulled that way. Okay? And so examples of pull. doing it in the picture. What are they doing in the picture? What are they doing in the picture? Hector, what are they doing in that picture? Pulling a wagon? Yes, you pull a wagon. So pulling a wagon. So our example of push was closing a door. What would be the opposite of that that would demonstrate pull? Bianca? Opening a door. Opening a door is pull. So opening a door. Okay, so opening a door. Something you do, you should do in the morning, you do this. What is that? Santiago? Brushing your hair. Brushing your hair. That's a pull. Okay. And, oh, here's something. Here's something. These are here. Show you here. I'm doing this. What am I doing? That's a pull. What am I doing, Adeline? You're picking up books. I'm picking up books. So picking up books, that is considered a pull. So picking up books. When you pick up your books, picking up books is a pull. Off picking up books if you don't have enough room. Try to fit in what you can. Yeah, I try. So these are all examples of pull. pulling a wagon, opening a door, brushing your hair, you're pulling, picking up books. Those are all pulls. If you do pull-ups, who here does pull-ups? Probably nobody. You work out. I don't know how many of you do pull-ups. So those would all be examples of pull. So that is what you're going to do now. This is what I want you to do with that. Because we're going to be keeping it in our spiral, we're going to fold it in half and you are going to glue it. Now there's little dots on it that tell you the spot where you can put your glue. And you're going to glue it into your notebook. So let's glue it into our science notebook. And let's put it in there. Let's put it into our science notebook. Okay, let's put it into our science notebook. Fold it in half and then glue it into your yellow science notebook. We'll get that in there. And then what we have next is something we're going to be thinking about that has to do with the things we just did. Or at least some of the things we just did. Little 
bats on the back? I said to use those little bats. That's what you're supposed to put the glue on. Once everybody is done there, I'm just passed off to you. You're going to need this. This is called your force and motion demonstration. So you're going to need your force and motion demonstration. Vocabulary. Where's your vocabulary? Yeah, it should have been glued into the front of your, um, it should be in there. You might need your vocabulary. So if you have your vocabulary, I would have that open to that page because you might be, yes, perfect. I see a gate has it. You might definitely want your vocab because some of that could come in handy. Because yes, because we did put our vocab. It should be in the front. Good job, I'm seeing it. We definitely would want to open our notebook to the vocab because some of that is going to come in handy to what we're doing now. Yes? Remember I didn't have one? Oh, yes, you took it. Okay, we'll get to the So this is what, I want you to look at this. I am going to be doing some demonstrations. You are going to predict what is going to happen in the science demonstrations before I do it. Bless you. Hand sanitize, babe. So, here's what I have for my first demonstration. I put that. A roll of duct tape and a ball. Everybody who here has seen a roll of duct tape and a ball before? Yeah. Everybody's seen these things. Now I'm going to be dropping them and what I want you to do is as I want you to predict which one of these is going to hit the ground first. Which one is going to hit the ground first? And I want you, what, which, what do you think Rose? You think the duct tape, what do you think, Olivia? Duct tape, tape. what do you think? Duct tape. What do you think, Evelyn? Ball. Ball. What do you think, Ava? Duct tape. What do you think? Duct tape. What do you think? Duct tape. What do you think? Ball. Ball. Okay, write down what you think. And you're going to write it where it says, my prediction. My prediction. Hector? Didn't I give you one? Oh, did I miss you? I think maybe because we were like kind of here. So sorry. Yeah, so sorry. I've got plenty. I could give you like six more of them. Okay? So that's what everybody needs to do. They need to write down their prediction. And I'm going to do it, and we're going to see who is right. 
Now, because it's kind of hard for you to see, I'll do it a few different times in a few different places in the classroom. And what I'm gonna to have to do is, is I'll have to drop it, the camera, and hope that the camera can see it as well. Hmm. Get an angle so the camera can see. So, go over here. Ready? Yeah. Can people kind of see? Yeah. One, two, three. What's that first? I'll do it again. One, two, three. Oh. I'll do it one more time. I'll go over here so they can see it over here. Okay. One, two, three. They both dropped at the exact same time. Isn't that funny? They both dropped at the exact same time, boys and girls. And I'm going to tell you, why do you think they could have dropped at the both? both at the exact same time. Nobody guessed that they dropped at the exact same time because obviously this is heavier than this because this is just a wiffle wall. This is a pretty heavy roll and I might add it's almost a brand new roll. I've hardly used it. Why do you think that they fell at the exact, they hit ground at the exact same time? You can kind of think of the words in your, in your vocab. What do you think, Lucas? What's your guess? The ball kind of just like slowed down and the tape kind of dropped from its weight. What do you think, Gabe? Same thing as Lucas. Same thing as Lucas? Abel in? Because of gravity. Because of gravity. That's it, exactly. They both hit at the same time. Gravity is the same on both of them. So this is what we're going to write. We are going to write for number one. Now, do not change your prediction, because that is like no fair if you change it. So, so we're gonna write, they both hit at the same time. Because we remember gravity pulls everything back to Earth. Gravity is the same on both. difficulty that's what happens when you have to go from room to room so what we're going to do this is called the candy flip and I'm going to take this cup just an ordinary cup and I'm going to put this cup like this oh I got to bend the camera down so our friends at home can see it Papers. 
And this is just an ordinary card, index card. I'm feeling like a magician. Okay. Candy. I put that there. And I am going to flick the card. And I want you to guess what is going to happen to the candy. What do you think is going to happen to the candy? What do you think, Bryson? Uh, it might fall on the cup or fall on the floor. Well, you got to pick one. It's going to fall on the floor. Fall on the floor. What do you think? Fall on the cup. Cup. Ava? It's going to get trapped. It's going to get trapped. Yes. Ava Lynn? It's going to go in the cup. Cup. Yes? Uh, cup. Cup. Ground. It's going to fall on the ground. Okay. What do you think is going to happen, Lucas? Gonna go on the desk. What do you think is gonna happen? It's gonna go on the floor. In the cup? Okay, well, let's see. Are we ready? Everyone can see it? In the cup. One in the cup. Now, the cut candy drops in the cup because of, can you look on your list of words and tell me what you think causes the candy to drop in the cup? Which one of those words that we learned causes the candy to drop in the cup? Do you think you know? Gravity. Not gravity. Inertia. Inertia, very good. It's inertia causes the candy to drop in the cup. Good job. So the candy drops in the cup. So the candy drops in the cup because of inertia. Evelyn, read out loud what inertia is. What is inertia? The property of an object resists movement by force. Resists movement by force. So even though I flicked it, it didn't go anywhere until that um, card fell out from underneath it. Then it went down. Okay, now, prepare to be dazzled. demonstration is called picnic lunch and I've got a tablecloth a fork a knife a spoon and a glass plate okay. so now boys and girls what do you think is going to happen when I try to remove the tablecloth what do you think is going to happen now Olivia You think it's going to slide off? What do you think is going to happen? Slide off? Yes. You think it's going to stay on the table? You have a lot of faith in me. Yes. What do you think is going to happen? Fall off. Fall off. Yes. Fall off. Fall off. Stay on the table. Stay on the table. What do you think is going to happen? Fall off. Fall off. What do you think is going to happen? Stay. Stay. Okay. Write your guess. You have to write your guess on your paper.
Okay, I'm gonna move this just a little bit so I have some room. Why did it all stay? Because we pulled the guy up so it came down kind of slow, so they will just kind of... Okay, why do you think it stayed? Because of the friction. Not friction. Bryson? Newtons? Because, not because of Newtons. Yes? Inertia. Because of inertia. Mm -hmm. So the picnic lunch, so the picnic lunch stayed in place because of inertia. but we are doing spinning water. Oh, no. Now if you notice here, do you see how there's water in here? There's water in here. There's water in here. Now I want you to decide what would happen if I spin this around like this, like this. I spin it around. What's going to happen to the water? Do you think the water is going to fall out? That's what I want to know. Do you think the water is going to fall out? What do you think, Santiago? No. No? What do you think, Rose? No. no. What do you think, Bianca? No. What do you think? No. Oh, you guys have a lot to say. Yes? No. What do you think? No. Evelyn? No. No. Water? No. 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 Okay, so are we ready for me to start spinning it around? water in there. So let's go. Let's start spinning it. Oh, Lucas doesn't look convinced. I see he's kind of squinting his eyes there, waiting for it to happen. Bianca's kind of wincing as well. She's like, I think that water is going to be all over Miss Renner. And then she's going to laugh. We ready? Who can tell 
me why. What's keeping the water in there? Rose? Yeah, and what force is it? What's forcing it? Gravity. Gravity. The force of the gravity is greater than the force of the spin. So, or the or this force of the spin is greater than the force of the gravity. So this is what we're going to write. I'm going to need a new page here. So, don't write anything because I have to tell you what to write. So the water, so this is for number five, the spinning water. The force, I'm going to say the force, Oh, not the force. I'm sorry, boys and girls, erase that. That was wrong. We don't want that. We want the water. So we're going to say the water does not fall out. Because the force. Of the spin is greater than the force of gravity. Yes. You can check. Usually second grade is there. 